Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it. Angel Spirit, guides, ancestors, and mind of light. Give me some messages from my YouTube collective. All right, first card out, Ace of Swords. All right, somebody here going to be speaking their truth. Some kind of truth could have came out here. Let's see what this is. All right, some kind of truth came out about some type of... um. A person with some type of toxic behavior, maybe some type of addictions. The devil can represent like somebody having addictions. Okay, light could have been shed on somebody that had some type of addictions here. Okay, the page of cups is somebody here that's... Um, this is somebody that's definitely flighty. Somebody that's in and out here. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get some more. Give me some more on this spirit. Give me something on this Herman and page of cups. Give me something on this hermit and page of cups. All right. Yeah, so this person did some introspection. This person, I feel like, got with themselves and with spirit and hermit mode here, and they started to, spirit just started to shed light on this person. This person, I feel like, went through some type of healing here, okay? Somebody here could be an Aquarius, but they don't have to be. It don't have to be just your sun sign. It could be a... Uh, it could be anywhere in your chart here. Okay, definitely some type of um, truth. Somebody can even be a water sign here, okay? A water sign here or, or a uh, fire sign here, okay? But it could be somewhere in your chart. But yeah, somebody here, I feel like in the past, y'all, could have definitely been toxic, could have had some type of addictions, okay? Some type of addictions, and they could have been like in and out, hot and cold, all right? But now this person is wanting a uh, two of cups here, okay? Now this person is ready for a relationship, y'all, okay? So maybe like why this person was in hermit. Yeah, right. The fool is right under the ace of swords. So maybe why this person was in hermit, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Spirit had this person sit down. Spirit has shed light on something, illuminated something to this person here, okay? And, it, and, and you know, they were forced to go within and work on themselves here, Okay, but I also feel like with this with this two of cups, with this fool and this son, this person wants to take a leap of faith towards this two of cups with you here, and they feel like they will have complete happiness with you here with this son. Okay, they feel like the happiness is where you are here. Okay, I'm I'm even hearing wherever you are, that is where I want to be. Yeah, wherever you are, that is where I want to be. So this this is what this person wants here. Yeah, this person with this uh three of wands here, y'all, they want to go towards something new. They don't want to do the same old thing that they've been doing here. And I feel like for a long time, this person could have been in this devilish energy and this page of cups here, okay? And they want to give equally to you here, okay? They want to give equally to you. I even feel like not even just this relationship. I just feel like the way that this person was moving in the past was just toxic altogether, all right, and I with this uh, Six of Pentacles here, I feel like not only does this person want to give to you equally, but I feel like they want to do differently in their finances, in their work ethic. Everything, I just feel like they just want to work on everything in their life all together, not just relationships, but everything, how they manage money, you know what I'm saying, how they treat people, their family, whatever it is, they just want to do better here. Okay, they don't want to breadcrumb anybody here, but most importantly, they don't want to breadcrumb you anymore here. They want to give to you equally here. All right, let's clarify this here. Yeah, I feel like this person here, y'all, this person is watching you. I feel like this person is moving in silence on something. Okay, this person definitely here was in hermit, y'all. Okay, this person is in hermit here. Okay, but I feel like this person is watching you in secret. Okay, they're watching you in secret here. Okay, and this person could have even y'all, they could have even had toxic people around them that was, um, you know, putting stuff in their head. You know, sometimes you have those family and friends that 
it's like they add fuel to the fire. It's like they know that you're not doing things that you're really supposed to do, but they condone it. So you continue to own to be toxic or do that behavior because the people around you is like, yeah, keep up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, big dog. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, sir. And they know it ain't good. They know it ain't healthy for you. They know that you could do better, but they egg it on. So you keep on doing it. So that's kind of like how it was with this person. This person, spirit had to be like, look, bro, look, sis, that ain't what you're supposed to be doing. Let me, let me, let me show you something real quick and let me sit you down but this person is watching you all right this person is watching you in secret here so if this is a person that you all have dealt with before y'all okay this person definitely is watching you here okay this person here want to balance something out here with you y'all okay you all definitely could be someone that's very pure very innocent here okay you pour into others here and that is why this six of pentacles is right here because this person knows that you're someone that's very happy here okay you 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 uh speak positivity over other people's life you pour into the side of other people and they just want to give you that same thing back in return here they want to they want to pour back inside of you here all right you all definitely could be an earth angel this person look at you as an earth angel here Yeah, if this person was dealing with some type of third party, you uh, you all, or any type of third party interferences, they have left it out them out in the cold here. They have did that, y'all. So if you all was wondering if this person was, you know, still hanging around the same friends, still hanging around, you know, those toxic family members, co -work workers, or dealing with a, 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 a karmic partner, they are not here. All right, they have not. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. That's why they can't stop watching you with this page of swords here. And they definitely could be watching you in secret. You might be thinking that this person ain't studying you, but they definitely are. They are watching you. All right, this person look at you as wish fulfillment. With this death card, this person has went through some type of transformation or they're going through some type of transformation. It kind of go hand in hand with this hermit card here, okay? Spirit, I'm telling you, got to sit in this person down here in hermit mode and with this light here, they're shedding light on things that this person had to work on and this person is going through some type of ascension like some type of awakening this person could be going through a spiritual awakening right now they might not be knowing what the hell going on you know what i'm saying they might not even know that it's a spiritual awakening that they're going through here you might you all might know what it is but this person could just be thinking like oh my god what in the hell is going on in my life right now you know but they definitely going through some type of spiritual... Look, y'all. I said something about the star. Didn't I say that? I said in this hermit, I seen somebody could be Aquarius and have Aquarius in their chart here. Okay? Somebody definitely pour inside of others and the star came out along with this ten of uh, cups here. This is what this person wants you. You got the nine of cups and you got the ten of cups and the star here. All right? This is this person looking at you as someone that's a healer. Someone that's a healer. I feel like you came into this person's life. Yeah, you came in this person's life and you showed them different here, y'all. This person definitely could have walked away from you. Someone that's very pure. Somebody that's innocent. Somebody here that has star qualities. You have star qualities, y'all. Okay? I'm talking about you're just someone that shine. You shine bright more than anybody that's in this person's life here. You definitely could have made this person go within and, and, and like want to heal and work on themselves. You could have told this person, look, I see some things in you that I don't like. I see some things that I feel like you need to change. And you might be the first person that definitely could have told this person that they made them want to withdraw and go within and work on themselves, get closer to God and pray. You know what I'm saying? And and they're doing that, y'all. Okay, they, they definitely are. This person definitely could have walked away from you or they could have pushed you away and made you walk away. You're 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 like this queen of cups, okay? Even if you all do not have kids together with this person here, okay? Or if you don't have kids at all, you could have kids here, okay? But not everybody that comes out as the Queen of Cups have children here, okay? I just have to specify that because I don't like to be insensitive in any way. And people are like, I don't have kids, okay? You don't, have, you don't have to have kids to be in the Queen of Cups energy. You could just be someone that's very nurturing, okay? And this is your energy here. You're someone that's very, very nurturing. You're caring here, okay? And they definitely could have walked away from you or they could have just been doing things to cause you to walk away from them, but they want to heal something with you. This person feels like you're like one of the best people that they could have he ever had in their life and they're actually regretting walking away from you or pushing you away here, okay? But this person had to heal 
heal something, y'all, okay? They had to heal something. And, and, and it definitely could have been people around them. Yeah, this person want a new beginning with you. You got the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and you got the world. This person want to bring you in an offer, y'all, okay? But they want to bring you in this offer after God has fully transformed them because the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from God. And, now, you know, I always tell y'all, God ain't going to give you no shit, okay? He is not, all right? God give, give you people, okay? And the devil give you people. You know, I have, if you all been listening to me, you know, I say that too. I say, God give you people and the devil give you people here. So God not going to give you no shit. God got to fully transform this person before this person can come into your life here. Okay. So don't push the issue and don't rush it. Let, let, let things unfold naturally here. But I'm just letting you know that this is confirmation here that if, if for you all that want this person, this is for a reading. I feel like that somebody wants this person. If you want this person, you have an opportunity to be with this person, but it's only going to come after God works on this person here. Okay, so you ain't got to worry about no more third parties, no more karmics, no more family, karmic family, friends, co-workers, associates, whoever. This person, I'm telling you, is going to distance themselves away from these type of people and leave them out in the cold. Now, you all definitely could be in this Queen of Swords energy, y'all. You know, your beginning energy could have been this Queen of Cups. You're still the Queen of Cups, but you just have boundaries. Because I feel like how things could have been left off, y'all. Okay? But yeah, this person wants to come in and, and, and they want to love you, y'all. Because the Knight of Cups have water. You all definitely could be a water sign here. A Pisces cancer scorpio here okay or you can just have that anywhere in your chart here okay a whole lot of water is in these cards that i'm pulling y'all which means that this person is like in their emotions heavy over you and they really regret walking away from this connection here because the happiness is with you okay the happiness reside with you collective okay yeah you all definitely could be shining right now glowing up bossed up here in the six of wands energy you put up boundaries with this person i just feel like you just start focusing on yourself here okay and i feel like you just doing the damn thing right now i feel like whoever you are could have definitely healed from the situation here okay or you are healing and you know you're just focusing on your self and whatever but this person is watching you whatever it is that you're doing whether you have uh, a youtube like me okay um whether you have uh facebook uh tiktok instagram whatever it is or if this person know where you work at they definitely could be watching you do something here all right and you might not even think this person watching you and they watching you Okay, this person with this king of wands want to take action, which want to take action towards you here. Okay, they're ready. This person want to come in before it's a missed opportunity, y'all. Okay, they definitely have in any third parties. Okay, they're not listening to people. If the interferences was family, toxic family and friends, they're, they have put an end to that. Okay, and it definitely could have been a feminine energy or feminine energies that they could have put an end into, y'all. Okay, this person could have been a people pleaser. Okay, this person could have just been uh always listening to people here. Okay, um, this definitely could have been a person like, okay, I know I want this person or I know I want to do this, but if the majority, if my family and friends and the people I hang around don't like it, I'm not going to do it or I'm not going to pursue it. I'm going to just go with what makes them happy instead of what makes themselves happy. They go with what makes the majority happy. You know what I'm saying? This person cared about what people thought about too much and it really weighed this person down, honestly, but it's like th this person does not want to collaborate with these people anymore here. They don't want to be tied down and restricted by these people anymore like they just don't want to do that here okay yeah with this eight of swords here all right yeah something is drying up y'all i'm telling you this person here that they they don't want to this person, I'm telling you, don't want to live by other rules no more. They don't want to listen to these people anymore here, okay? And they are definitely not working with them. And if it could have been coworkers or friends or something like that, they like, look, I love you for a di uh, from a distance, but I, I got to do what makes me happy here, okay? I got to do what makes me happy here, all right? And some of you all, because I said that something definitely is something with some money here, y'all, okay? This person definitely could want to work with you on something. Okay, this could be this person wanting to work with you on something here or come and help you with something and give you something here. And it could have been people around this person like, no, don't do that, don't do that or whatever. This person just, I feel like this person just following their intuition. They listening to spirit. They going with their own intuition because guess what? You're the empress. You're coming out as this empress here. 
All right. And this person is like tired of not working with you. They tired of not working with you and doing what makes them happy. Going to who, who they really want to be with to please other people or because they don't want to be judged by other people. This person is in this king of wands energy and they're ready to take action towards you here. Okay. Something that this person found out hidden. What is this spirit? Let's see what this is that this person found out uh, that was hidden here. Let's see. Wait till, let me see. What is this? Yeah, some secrets were revealed, y'all. Y'all, I promise you, before this high priestess came out, y'all, I seen the high priestess in my third eye. I already, I already be knowing what I be talking about, y'all. The cards just confirm what I be saying. I'm telling you. I don't even have to get on here and, and really just pull out cards. I already be knowing what I be... Spirit already be telling me stuff, okay? I said that this person is following their own intuition here, okay? And I seen the high priestess in my third eye here. Some secrets here were revealed. Something something that this person found out about the people that they was associating themselves with here, okay? And it was revealed some type of deception here, okay? Some type, some type of deception. Somebody could have been a toxic, uh, a low vibrational cancer, <coughs> All right, a low vibrational cancer here because you got a whole lot of water and you got this crab. Okay. Yeah, and it definitely could have been a moon sign. Their moon sign. Yeah. Move this out of the way. Move, move, move. Be quiet, be quiet. All right, let's see. What else, spirit? What's this moon and this high priestess? What's this moon and this high priestess here? Gone. You make it too much noise. What's this moon and high priestess here? Let's see. Okay, this this person here is holding on to you. Okay. This person is holding on to you. Some type of secrets or something came out, y'all. I feel like about people working together to try to cause an ending y'all to cause you burdens here all right you had people y'all take what resonates and leave the rest it could have been toxic people around this person that was trying to make it hard for you and see you heartbroken all right they didn't want you to be with this person but this person was holding on to you the whole time and they found out some type of deception around they click they friends group okay some type of deception around their friends group and their family here okay trying to put an ending not wanting somebody to collaborate with you wanting it's like they wanted this person to be only for them and not wanting them to work with you here, okay? And you're the whole empress here. You're somebody that's very independent, self-sufficient. And now this person, I feel like now that something is revealed, this person is feeling bad as fuck. Like they can't even hardly sleep. And they want a new beginning and give you this offer here. They want to show you love here, okay? This person want to show you love and this person regrets like... You know, even listening to these people right here, okay? Definitely. These people could have had this person in a low vibration and night of wands energy, you know what I'm saying? A lustful energy. They could have had friends like, bro, why you want to settle down now? Why you want to be with her? Why you want to be with him? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, because the, it was their family or their friends or whatever, you know, they went with it. But let's just see how this person going to be when they come back in. Let's get some more here. It's a turning point, y'all. Know that this is know that it's a turning point. For the ones of you that have been optimistic, but you just been doing your own thing or whatever here, know that it's coming, y'all. It's not just an illusion. It's not just in your head here. Okay, some of you all might be at the point where you're tired. You're like, man, I don't even know if this thing coming together. I don't want to wait no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, if is this even my person? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know what's up. Maybe I just need to move on. No, y'all. If you know that this your person, you know, continue to focus on you and have fun. It's even okay to date, y'all. And, you know, you don't have to have sex with everybody you date to have fun. You can meet people. And, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have any, but have fun. You know what I'm saying? But it's a turning point, y'all. Okay? Or just focus on your work, your career, and whatever it is that you're doing here. Okay? It's so incredible how things work themselves out. Out. things naturally gonna work themselves out y'all like i said let it unfold naturally because i'm telling you god is gonna work this thing out one thing about it, if it's meant for you you don't have to force shit 
What's meant, what's meant for you, you don't have to force it. You ain't got to force nothing that's meant for you, baby. I'm telling you, a job, a person, whatever the hell it is, you ain't got to force it. Spirit is saying, it. you know what I'm saying? It's going to work out. This person could be saying, it's, you know, it's just so incredible how things came together. And it is, y'all. I'm telling you, this thing is going to come together. But, you know, this person is still healing and working on themselves here, okay? It's going to take a lot of trust to get us through. And this could be from you all. It's going to take a whole lot of forgiving and a whole lot of this person proving themselves to be worthy of you even trusting them fully again like you did before. Because this person definitely could have broke your trust and broke your heart here, okay? But, you know, if this is something that you really want, y'all, you have to fully forgive this person before going into this. Because you don't want to say, yes, I forgive you. And then later on down the line, you throw it up in this person's face and y'all start having problems. You know what I'm saying? If you truly know that you're not ready to forgive this person or you don't really want this person or whatever, don't take this person back and then you let God send you somebody new. But for the ones of you that want this person, you have to fully forgive this person. All right? You got to fully forgive them in your heart and, and move on and move on past it. All right? Don't listen to what people say. They don't know about you and me. It's just jealousy. So this person know that people were jealous of y'all. You know what I'm saying? They're not they're not going to be listening to these people. Okay? These people were jealous and I told y'all it was people that was trying to come in between you all's connection. They were trying to end something. This person could have even had friends trying to hook them up with other people to get their minds off of you cuz they just didn't they didn't want to see you all together, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you that's how um kingdom marriages are y'all people that's really meant together meant to be together by god the enemy tried to attack those relationships y'all because i'm telling you they do be the six of wands you know what i'm saying y'all finna grow and glow together here y'all okay it could have been a struggle night of pinnacle night night of uh pinnacles is what i'm seeing in my head y'all something could have came in very slow okay but yeah this person like look you got the keys to my heart you know what I'm saying? So if you didn't know, you got the keys to this person's heart. Look, they ready to do life with you. All right? They ready to do life with you here. All right? I'm so in love. I'm addicted to your love. This person is addicted to you. This person want to take some type of vacation or cruise. Okay? I want to do all the things your man can't do. All right? For some of you all, you done already started dating and you could have met. Y'all, I seen a movie yesterday and this woman was waiting 10 years, y'all. 10 years and she didn't want to admit that she was actually putting her life on hold waiting for this person to come back but it was the truth and she had this man around i think that was working with her for years that wanted to pursue her and whatever but this woman y'all really did wait all that time to for and he had been married and divorced like a few times and all that kind of stuff and and she didn't date she just put all her energy into work y'all and for me to mention this this could resonate for some of you all not all of you all but you, somebody resonate with it and and like you all could be at the point where you like you know what i'm tired of waiting on this person you know what i'm saying and and you all might meet somebody that you really really like but guess what this person gonna be coming back in y'all and you know, I, it happens that way. When you've been in like said, forget it, or you move on or start to go on with your life and get comfortable without this person and don't think about them so much, usually that's be when they come in, y'all. And this is how it's going to be. I hate to tell you, but that's how it's going to be. It's definitely might be y'all where you done met somebody else or you already done met somebody and this person is finna get ready to come back in, y'all, and tell you how they regret listening to other people or being influenced by other people. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be telling you how they had to grow and how they had to heal and all those type of things here, okay? But, you know, this person's going to try to fight for you if you are with somebody. They're going to try to fight for you, y'all, okay? This person knows who you are to them, okay? It's nobody like you. They're realizing that it's nobody like you here, okay? Look, I get weak in the knees when you come around me. This person get weak when they around you. It's like they just melt. You bring this person to their knees here, okay? This person is so in love with you here, okay? And it's like, it ain't nobody like you. This person see you as their wife, okay? This person like, you my queen. You my everything, okay? I heard that song by Mary J. Blige. You're my everything, okay? Look, let's go out in nature. This person definitely could want to go on a picnic, okay camping they could just want to do different things with you okay be adventurous with you have fun and you all could be like look could you walk a mile in my shoes 
All right. And, and you all could be like that because, you know, that's, you know, this person was in that and in, in that night of uh, wands energy, like lustful energy here. OK, page of uh, cups energy here. All right. You're like a dream come true. This person feels like you're a dream come true, okay? And they are watching you, y'all, okay? They're thinking about you heavenly. They're missing you. They're watching you. Know that they are, okay? Look, living my life like it's gold and feeling free. This y'all. Y'all are finally feeling free. You're finally feeling free. I, I, I picked up on this before I, this even came. I said some of you all are at that point where it does not phase you anymore. Like, you're finally at that point where you just like, you know what? It didn't happen. I'm okay with that. God bring me somebody else in new. Some of you all are at that point, okay? And you're feeling free. It's like it's not weighing you down anymore. You're not pushing the issue anymore. You have literally released it. But guess what? That's what you were supposed to do. That is what God wanted you to do. God didn't want you to be right there like, oh, okay, I'm going to wait right here until you get done uh being with those friends toxic behavior i'm gonna be right here and wait on you to heal and god didn't want you to do that god wanted you to live your life and go on and release it and put it in his hands and you all did that okay so now you're feeling free and you have healed some of you all had to heal too because i feel like in in situations especially twin flame situations you both end up growing one is a little bit ascended more than the other but you both have to learn lessons it's not a situation to where one need to heal and grow and learn and the other one just don't know both people have to heal because you have to ask yourself like what about me waited all this time you know what i'm saying like why did i wait or why did i let certain things of this person behavior go on for so long so it's like you have to learn how to love yourself to even walk away from people that you actually love if they're not giving you what you deserve here Okay, even if it is somebody, you know, that you know you're meant to be with, you know, collective, always love yourself enough to walk away if somebody is not reciprocating that energy and giving you what you give. And I feel like that's why you're feeling free because you love yourself. Now, now that you have filled your own cup up and you love yourself, you won't pick somebody out of desperation. You won't hang around, you know, and, and, and be waiting, you know, because you feel like, you know, uh, well, I know that this is my person, so I'm no, I don't care who it is. Love yourself enough to be able to walk away. Okay, if something meant to be, it's gonna be, but sometimes people really have to go through a healing process, y'all. I'm telling you. Okay, but you all did that though, and I am so proud of you all. You all definitely have been focusing on yourself, you're loving yourself here. Okay, even if you know you still have hope that this thing gonna come together, which it is. It is going to come together, y'all, okay? But it's like you're not sitting around, you know, just waiting. Like, oh, my God, is they going to come back today or tomorrow? No, this person want to cut on and chill. They they missing, they missing you, heavenly, okay? Look, your love is one in a million. Your personality, your style, everything about you is just amazing here, okay? This person could wonder, like, when I'm not around, do you think of me? Or this could be you. You know what I'm saying? And I said, you know, this could definitely be you. Like, you all could be wondering, like, if this person thinking about you. And I told you that this person definitely is watching you in secret. They're moving in silence here. I don't even feel like they're telling people around them, like, what they want. You know what I'm saying? This could be bittersweet, y'all. Okay? And then it got breakup to make up. This person want to make up, make up with you here. Okay? After a breakup. After a separation here. Okay? And this could be bittersweet. I feel like it could be bittersweet because when this person come back in, some of you all might have actually started dating someone else. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Some people y'all could think that this is superficial through you. Okay. And it got, look, everybody's going to have to think again. So people could think that it's probably just sex to have you all hooked together or it's just something superficial. It ain't nothing that's going to last or nothing like that. That's could, that could be how people around think. They don't think that it's actually love between y'all. They think that it's just sex based or a sneaky link or something. They don't really feel like, you know, it's love between y'all. But let me tell y'all, it's love, okay? It's love between y'all. And that's why you both cannot walk away from each other here, okay? You can't stop thinking about each other. You know what I'm saying? That's why it, it was so hard to free yourself because 
it's actually love between y'all. It's 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 not an illusion here, okay? And you can have people around that think it's just sex or it's just superficial. It's not gonna work out between y'all. But guess what? It is for whoever it is that want this person, y'all. It's gonna work out. Even if you don't start dating here, God has a mysterious way of doing things, y'all. I'm telling you, and and this thing gonna come together here, okay? Look, you were here for me at my lowest time. I feel like this was you all. You all were patient with this person and you all were there for this person at their lowest time. It don't even have to deal with, with finances. It could be just this person at their lowest point where not even knowing what they wanted out of life or wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Feeling hopeless or having self-doubt when they even come to their self, loving themselves here. Okay, but you know, it's going to be a little bit of sweet. All right. Yeah. Love ain't never looked so good on you. So you all could be glowing at this current time. I feel like that's you loving yourself so much and you're glowing. Okay. This person want to know, like, do I ever cross your mind here? Okay. And they like, look, you light up my fire. You're, you're a diamond. You're like a diamond. This person love the way you shine here. Okay. You're like a diamond to this person here. Okay. But I feel like you all could be glowing because you're just loving yourself here. You're treating, you're giving yourself that love that you so desperately try to give to other people because you 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 came up as this queen of cups the queen of cups want to love everybody they want to heal everybody they want to help everybody but you all you know you you can't pour from an empty cup so you all start filling your own cup up and now your cup is running over okay with self-love and not only that god blessing your tail here okay where your cup is just running over full of blessings okay you know what i'm saying but look y'all this thing is gonna come together okay it's gonna come together and, and and it's gonna work out and people around could be thinking that it's a superficial thing and ain't nothing superficial about it okay this love is real it's real y'all okay it's real let's see let's get something from this one yeah look new love coming in okay so new love could be coming in for you all or this is a past person coming in and new energy and it's gonna be like a new love because it ain't gonna look divine feminine you're the divine fe this person knows who you are they know that you're their 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 soulmate here okay or their twin here they know it they know who you are now okay look they want to give you equal give and take this person look at you all as a power couple Okay, so maybe it took for you all to separate for you even to focus on your own endeavors and when it come back. You know what I'm saying? Some of you all have to focus on yourself and get yourself together too. Okay, but this person look at you all as a power couple. This person definitely could want to elope. They could want to take you on a vacation here and you all could go on a vacation not knowing that this person is going to surprise you with a proposal. Okay, this person view you as a lover and a friend because y'all in that movie... That woman said, I don't, you might have done me like the others if I, if I didn't decide to be your friend. So even though the guy that she was married to, that she was with y'all, she still was able to have a friendship with this man. And in the end, y'all, they end up being together. But it was because, you know, I feel like this person knew his potential. You know what I'm saying? She always knew it, and she just continued to be this man's friend here, okay? But this person know who you are. And, you know, I feel like this person thank you for being their friend when they probably weren't even a good friend to you, okay? Look, this person is going to defend this relationship, and they're going to defend you here. This person, like, look, I always knew you, you were... This person always knew that you were their person, and they're going to want to come in and try to restore things with you. And this person look at you as the... Uh, 